Welcome back to the Mookie Chilson channel, and it is showtime here at Mookie Chilson World Headquarters. And here at Mookie Chilson World Headquarters, there are a couple of different verticals I think of when I try and categorize my collection. Um, and I break them up like this. So I have uh, vintage cards, vintage Hall of Fame slabs, um, and pinhole vintage Hall of Famers on the Pinhole Holy Grail Wall of Fame, which hopefully, if you're a subscriber, you've seen that. So that's one vertical. We have the Mets vertical, which is sort of Mets and Mets autographs, um, which could span anywhere from 62 to 2023. So that's the sort of second vertical. And then I have my modern vertical. And the modern vertical consists of Shohei Otani. I don't, there's nobody else in the modern world that I, I want to even bother collecting um, because this guy is off the charts crazy good and like from another planet. I, I don't need to go into the accolades for Shohei Otani. You know how great he is. Um, but he's a guy that I've been collecting for several years now and I'm so thrilled that I have stuck with it with him. And he has just been so amazing um, that I'm proud to have uh, a bunch of his cards in my PC. And I just want to make a note as we look at a couple of Shohei Otani 2018 Topps Archives cards in front of you, what you also see in front of you. You also see a wooden box. And that wooden box, for many of you, and hopefully all of you, is reminiscent of the cheese box that we see in the videos of a man named Shane Shoebox Legends, a great YouTube creator here uh, on the channel. Um, Shane is one of the most generous, thoughtful, creative, uh, kind, helpful, witty um, people that I have met in all of my time spending time here uh, in the YouTube baseball card community. He is encouraging. He is um, he is supportive. He uh, will respond to every comment I make and um, and and comes to my videos and, and leaves a reply on everything that I put down. And he is the person I think probably most responsible for pushing me to get out here and start talking to an iPhone like I am right now. Um, and so I, this is a tribute to you, Shane. Uh, and your most recent video uh, that I saw was the uh, Shohei Otani cards that you put together. Just a super impressive collection that I sort of was very jealous of. Um, and so I'm gonna show mine uh, in tribute to you and yours. Um, and so here we go. So the first two cards we have here on the left of the 1959, uh, 19, well, 2018 uh, Topps archives in the style of 1959 Topps. And the same thing on the right in this dual card, uh, Shohei and Mike Trout, which I love. These are my favorite, my favorite insert dual card, dual player set. Uh, in vintage cards or that those 1959 cards the corsair trio and destruction crew shout out to scott uh at reindeer studios um but here they are the halos heroes um Ot otani and trout um who have just paid off uh with that title <laughs> they have lived up to it time and time again uh with their performance on the field um and i'm just a sucker for um, modern Shohei, uh, the player in vintage tops, uh, style like this 2019 tops heritage in the style of the 1975 tops. I love that. You got this 1986. This is a Chrome version of Shohei Otani in the 1986 skin. Here he is in 1984, Topps Update in a PSA 9. I think that has a rookie uh, badge, but it probably shouldn't. But I love that card. Here he is, and this is a little bit more of a rare one. This is a Throwback Thursday Gem Mint 10 Shohei Otani rookie card. Now this was one of those like print-on-demand cards that um, there's a very little pop of and a little pop in Gem Mint 10, so I'm really thrilled and lucky to have that. So there's some of the Otani cards I love to collect. And then there's the Top Her Tops Heritage. And of course, Tops Heritage goes year by year, advancing a year uh, in the Tops uh, look. 
um, with every year that uh, goes by, goes by in real time. So 2020, uh, 2020 was the 1971 Topps black outfit. Um, this is a image variation card for Shohei Otani, and you have the. This is a color uh, variation. You see the angels, the different color than the blue angels in the top. They're very sneaky with their <laughs> with their variations. They want people like me trying to catch them all Pokemon style. Um, here is a 2019 uh, second year Shohei uh, Rookie Cup. This is another action image variation in a mint nine. I love that card. And then we go back to the rookie year. And in the rookie year, we see another dual card, Hammer and Halos, there's Otani and Trout. And that rookie year was in the style, you can see from the salmon or pink background, in the style of 1969 tops. Um, and this is the sort of flagship rookie for Shohei Otani in 2018 uh, Topps Heritage in the style of, you know, the same iconic rookie type card. You might see the, the second year Nolan Ryan or, or something like that. It's just such a cool look with that rookie badge, the Topps Heritage. I love it. Um, but of course, what they did when Shohei Otani first came out in Topps Heritage, <laughs> they knew they had a big one. Um, so they had lots of variations. They had um, this pitching variation, action variation. This is the same number as the sort of flagship number. I think this is a high number, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 600. So this is the top, Topps Heritage high number action variation in a Gem Mint 10. And then you have the... Second uh, image variation. This is card number 17. Uh, of course, Shohei is uh, number 17 for the Angels. And this is a super, super short print um, image variation uh, from the original Topps Heritage in 2018. Um, and I'm thrilled to have this in, as Shane Shoebox Legend calls it, a fine nine. Um, and it is sort of the jewel of my Shohei Otani uh, Topps um, through the years collection. Um, and I'm thrilled to have all those. I'm thrilled to keep watching uh, Shohei Otani continue to dominate. I hope he comes to do it for the Mets next year, but I won't stop collecting him, even if he doesn't, um, no matter where he goes. Please don't go to the Braves. Um, and um, I think that's all I have to say about that. So that's the end of this video. Um, I appreciate all your support. Shane, thank you again for all, all the inspiration and, and kind words you've shared. Um, and we will see you again soon. Thank you.